What's up guys and welcome back to the Bit of Footy YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be running through my, I think it's round 16 tips today. Um, so last week I had a horror of a round. I only got four out of nine. Um, I accidentally changed my tip from the Western Bulldogs to the West Coast Eagles. And then, you know, the dogs did what they bloody did against the Eagles. So I didn't have the best round last weekend and I sort of dropped down to 19th spot in my tipping competition. Um, Suresh for Eagles is on 93 points. He's the current leader at the moment um, and followed by uh, Shannon Humphreys on 88. The, the Deets on 87, Jaden on 86, and then a few more 86s. And then, yeah, I'm just sitting on 82 at the moment. So I'm somehow only 11 behind the leader, but, you know, the leader would have to have a massive slip up for me to have any chance at winning my own competition and keeping my 50 bucks. At this stage, I'm going to be 50 bucks, uh, you know, minus in the bank account. So, uh, yeah, let's just go through my, um, what, round 16 tips, I believe it is. Yep, round 16. All right, so we're kicking off round 16 with a Thursday night clash between the Tigers and the Suns. It is, you know, prime time game, that right there. Um, I'm going to tip the Tigers to beat the Suns, even though they're going to be missing Dion Prestia. I think they still should be able to get the job done, you know, with the talent that they have on their list compared to what the Suns have. The Suns have really sort of fallen off from the start of the season, you know, the pretty decent start they had to the season. Um, it is being played at Marvel Stadium. Obviously, Dimmer doesn't really like Marvel Stadium, but, you know, that's not to say that the Tigers won't play well just because their coach doesn't like Marvel Stadium. So, yeah, I think the Tigers should get the job done. I've tipped them by 17 points because I don't believe that they've been playing their 100% best footy this season, but they still should realistically get the job done over the Suns. Then it is the Cats taking on the Bombers on Friday night at GMHBA Stadium. I'm actually a bit 50-50 on this game, but I have eventually gone the Cats to win this one, but I do think the Bombers have a good sniff, a good chance at beating the Cats. I reckon they could outdo them with speed, but the only thing is it's such a narrow ground and a lot of teams that have speed on their side do get caught out to the fact that, that it is such a narrow ground and you know the boundaries are a bit different to other wider grounds like the MCG and all that. Um, but yeah, so I've gone the Cats to win this one. They do really well at home, the Cats. Um, you know, they defend their home ground pretty well as well. So I think the Cats should get the job done. But if, if the Bombers play their cards right, they could come up with an upset victory over the Cats. And they do really need it as we're getting into the, you know, the nitty-gritty end of the season. Um, if they can get a win here, that would be massive for their chances at making finals. But... All in all, I'm going to go the Cats. Then we've got the uh, the D's taking on the Giants at the MCG. Um, I'm going to go the D's to win this one. They've just looked much better than the Giants. Although, I will say the last two games that they played against the Pies and the D's, they have looked a bit 50-50, I will say. Um, but realistically, against the Giants, they should get the job done. I think the Giants have just been an up and down team this year. They've won games that have been, you know, pretty decent wins and then they've lost games that they shouldn't really be losing. So, yeah, I think the Ds should get the job done in this one. They've just looked really good this year. The Ds, they found wins where, you know, you thought they were going to lose. Um, obviously, the Pies game, I don't want to brag on about that one or anything, but... Uh, you know, they, they couldn't find a win there, but against the uh, Dons, I still think the Dons are a bit stiff against the Ds, but they managed to get the win over the Dons just so they found a way. They're a good team. They're finding ways to win. Um, so, yeah, I think the Ds should get the job done over the Giants and, uh, you know, continue on their merry way. Then it's the Crows taking on the Lions at assumably the Adelaide Oval. I don't know if anything's going to change in the next few days or hours or whatever. I can only see it from what I'm looking at. Um, so, yeah, but I'm still... I don't think it matters where it's going to be played at. I still think I would tip the Lions either way. They've been playing some really good games of footy recently. They've been really consistent in the win column, that's for sure. Um, their forward line is really well. I was really impressed with um, Robinson last week, or I don't, I don't know if I said his last name right. It's Robinson or Robertson or whatever um so yeah I, I was really impressed with his performance against the cats and you know i was really impressed with the whole performance from
on the lines against the Cats side. So yeah, I think they should get the job done. The uh, the Crows did take it up to the Blues, only to lose it. You know, I'd say in the last few minutes against the Blues. You know, they played a really good last quarter. They kept the Blues goalless, but they still allowed the Blues to have a few chances just to take a few, you know, seconds, minutes off the clock. And uh, yeah, so it became really hard for the Crows to win over the Blues. Um, but yeah, like a team against the Lions, as you know, because we all know that the Lions are really good this year. They're starting to build some good form. So I think the Lions should get the job done no matter where it is played. And yeah, they will. Uh, I reckon they're a chance for the top four, the Lions, the way that being going. I reckon they're a real sniff. Next, we have the Hawks taking on the power at Marvel Stadium. This one is sort of an interesting one because I, as much as I am going to tip the power, no doubt I will. I think the power has sort of been a 50-50 side this year in Melbourne. I don't think they've been playing their best footy this year down in Melbourne. Um, so yeah, I'd give the Hawks a little sniff. I wouldn't give them too much of a sniff. I still think the power will get the job done, but I'll give them a little sniff. Um, they, who'd they play last week? They played the Giants last week at the MCG, got the job done over the Giants. Looks okay. The youngsters sort of put in some good performances as well. But, you know, with the team that the Power have, with the list that they have, they realistically should get the job done. You know, their team list is just a bit better, I would say, than the Hawks is. So, yeah, should be the Power getting the job done over the Hawkers. And then it is the Blues taking on the Dockers at either Geelong or Tassie. It's one of those two spots that will not be in Perth. That was one of the persuading factors that it was in Perth and I went the Dockers originally. It is going to be in either Tassie or Geelong and I think it holds it a bit more in favour of the Blues. As much as I want to tip the Dockers, I am going to tip the Blues in this one. I think they've got the forward line as well to you know get over the Dockers with Aoi's bets. Uh, Mackay as well Silvani, I, I don't know how Silvani is going Is he injured, is he not um, If he's not, he can sort of play good games here and there So who knows um, But yeah, I I did like I did, you know, the, the Dockers Midfield sort of gave You know, my pies midfield a run for their money With Chera, Mundy and all that They played some pretty decent footy um, And yeah, I'd definitely say That Mundy has been putting in some good Weeks at the office His form has really risen to the account so even you know they had Nat Five missing last week, so for Monday to rise up and play a good brand of footy was good to see. Even though I support the Pies, it was, it was still good to watch Monday do what he does best and get a lot of touches of the pill. But by still, after all I've just said, I still think the Blues should get the job done. And uh, yeah, but I'd, I'd love the Dockers to get the job done, but I'm tipping the Blues. Then it's the Swans taking on the Eagles at GMSBA Stadium. I am going to go the Swans in this one, but it is very, very tough to pick a winner. But I am going to go... The, oh, actually, am I? You know what? Yeah, I will, I'm, I will stick with the Swans because last week I went the Bulldogs in the video but accident but then changed it to the Eagles later in the week but I'm gonna stick with Swans in this one I just feel like they're a bit faster than the Eagles and I feel like the fastness of the dogs last week caught out the Eagles and you know obviously the no crowd factor helps and this one's at GMHBA Stadium as well so I feel like all in all the Swans just have a little bit better um, you know of the game on their side, so I think the Swans will get the job done I wouldn't put a pass the Eagles to win to you know to win the game though Because they do have a decent midfield and a forward line and defense you could say But their defense just look a bit they looked a bit lackluster last week and so did their midfield So yeah, I'm gonna tip the Swans and I think their pace of you know the pace of the Swans will get you know, just will catch the Eagles out a bit. So yeah, I think the Swans will get the W. Then it is the Pies taken on the Saners at the MCG. I'm going to tip the Saints in this one. Uh, the Pies looked good in patches last week. I'll say that much, but they didn't look good fully. You know, not like 100% during the game, whereas the Saints, they looked really, really good. And a lot of people were just like, oh no, it was just because Richmond looked bad, we're playing bad, blah, blah, blah. No, the reason why Richmond were playing bad is because the Saints were playing really good, decent footy. They were putting a lot of pressure around the ball carrier of the Tigers. They were putting a lot of pressure on the Tigers. They were sort of putting a Richmond pressure on Richmond. It was crazy to see. And then when they got the ball, they would just try to tap it any which way they could get it forward. They just 
tap it forward they would do little kicks off the ground any which way they could they would just get it forward they were doing a richmond they were just pushing it forward any way that they could and it was great to see so yeah unfortunately as you know i do go for collingwood but i'm gonna be tipping the saints in this one to get the w last game of the week it is the dogs taking on the ruse at marvel stadium and i don't think i have to say much about this game i'm gonna obviously tip the dogs they're a dollar and three cents favorites to 12 dollars which is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> they took a fiver on the bloody kangas to win this one um listen i i'll put it out there that the Roos haven't been playing that bad of footy but that was in tassie we're moving back to marvel in this one we all know what happened when the dogs played the Roos last time at marvel it was an absolute in it was just an enthralling match in the manner that the dogs were playing so well and Bruce kicked 10 it was just the dogs stay out you could say and it, I realistically think it could happen again with the way the dogs played last week in Perth against the Eagles so I'm gonna have to tip the dogs in this one uh, there will no be Kanga 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 Roo 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 in this one I think it could be an absolute massacre of a scoreline so see how it goes and there we have it ladies and gentlemen those are my tips locked in for round 16 hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in another video hopefully sometime this week cheers